you ever played games like these before? Today we will be developing a similar character controller in Unity. We will create this in an easy, step-by-step -step process. Here I set up a simple scene. To make a character controller, we need a character. So I downloaded this free asset from the asset store. Let's import it. After importing, if you are also using a universal render pipeline or URP project, then you will get this pink material error. To fix this pink material error, simply open its material folder, select all materials, then go to the edit menu, then rendering, and then in materials, select convert selected material to URP. Next, let's create an empty game object and give it a name as a player. Then drag the character prefab into the scene and make it the player object's child. Let's resize it. Now select the player object and add a character controller component to it. Set its size properly to cover our player. Then let's create a script with the name player controller. Let's create a reference for our character controller component and a float variable as speed. Next, to store input values, let's create two more float variables, input x and input y. Now in the update method, let's get the horizontal axis input in the input x variable and the vertical axis input in the input y variable. Now let's create a vector3 variable to make a direction using those inputs. Here, I used input y as the z-axis because I wanted to move the player in the z-axis forward. Now, let's use the character controller's move method to move our character in that direction. So let's pass the direction as an argument, then multiply it with the time.delta time and our speed variable. Here, in inspector, let's drag our character controller component reference. You can see our player is now moving perfectly in the input direction. Now, to rotate our player in that direction, simply convert the direction to an angle using the mathf.atan2 method. First let's convert angle to up direction rotation. Then to smoothly rotate towards the angle, we will use the quaternion slurp method which will take three arguments. The first argument will be our from rotation, the second will be to rotation, and the third will be the smoothness value. Our player is now rotating in the input direction, but after releasing the input buttons, it is resetting its rotation. To avoid this, simply add a condition before rotating our player. If the magnitude of the direction is greater than 0.1, then only rotate the player. You can see, now it's working fine. Now let's add an animation to it. First, let's create an animator controller. Then double click on it to open the animator window. Now let's open the animation folder from the characters package. Here we find the walk animation. Then drag it into the animator and find another idle animation and drag it as well. Now let's right click on idle animation and set it to default. Then let's create a transition from idle to move state, and then move to idle state. Now here in the parameters tab, let's create a boolean parameter as moving. Then select idle to move state transition, and here in inspector, add the moving true condition. and then select the move to idle transition and set moving to false in the condition. Select both transitions, untick this has exit time field, and set its transition time to 0.1 or 0. Now the animation setup is done. The last step is to set this animator controller to our player, so select the character prefab from the scene and drag the newly created animator onto it. Now in our script, let's create a reference to our animator. In the update method, 
let's set the animator's move parameter to true or false according to the player's moving magnitude. Now here in the inspector, let's pass the animator's reference. You can see our character controller is now ready. Now to add a joystick controller, import the joystick pack from the asset store. Create a canvas, and drag any one of the suitable joystick into the canvas. Then in the script create a variable of type joystick, and here just replace this part. Drag the joystick into the joystick field and hit play. You can see, now our hyper casual character controller is ready to be tested and used in our game. Thank you so much for watching, if you appreciate our videos, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future ones.